What's up guys, John here, and uh, we are doing some behind the scenes. Uh, it's a beautiful Tuesday morning, and we are here in the ABC studio in Tampa, Florida, and we're about to shoot our first morning blend. So having us come on here and talk about Tight Medical Center, kind of what we offer patients, summer's coming, they're doing a segment with us, so it's gonna be nice. And we got more segments of shoots. So we're probably gonna shoot two today with them, they said, and maybe more in the future, so we'll see. So we'll let you guys know when this is gonna air and all the good stuff, and you guys are gonna get to see it behind the scenes, and then you guys will get to see the final product too as well. So stay tuned, you guys are gonna love all this stuff, and we got some great information we're gonna give you, so stay tuned. <laughs> What's up guys? John and my beautiful wife here, Cherise. Hey and guys. We are in the studio shooting the morning blend segments for Tight Medical Center. We can't wait for you guys to see the final product and what we shot today. Uh, great information given for both you know, guys, girls, everybody that's trying to improve their health or just improve their quality of life. If you see this segment, you can always call or text 727-389-3220 or visit our website at www.tightmedicalcenter.com. We'll be there to answer all of your questions day and night. What's up guys? Today I want to talk about a question that I get a lot and that's how do I get to being healthy? How do I get back in the gym? How do I get back in shape, John? I'm coming back from an injury. I haven't done it in a long time. And it's a pretty simple and easy answer to the question. Now those people asking the question, obviously it's not so simple to them. But if you're into fitness and you're into a healthy lifestyle, I think a lot of you guys might know the answer. But if you don't, here it is. It's resistance training. It's exercising, right? Getting back into the gym, starting a routine, holding yourself accountable. These things are what's going to make you healthy. It's going to get you into a healthy lifestyle. Healthy habits are the key. So when we talk about this, like I said, weight training or resistance training is going to be the best for you if you're trying to lose weight, right? Resistance training and exercising, weightlifting, these things are going to be key for you. The more muscle you build, the more fat you burn. And you will burn fat throughout the whole entire body. There's no such thing as spot uh, reduction of fat, okay? So at that point, you need to just focus in on the easy, simple things. That means getting an exercise routine in and going at least three times per week. Set it however you want. Get some sort of nutritional plan together start picking good food sources. This is going to aid you in weight loss, it's going to give the natural energy you need, and it's going to help with your recovery to build that lean mass. Also, sleep. Now sleep is another key factor in recovery, and it's going to be the key factor with you as far as your body working optimally. So make sure you're getting a proper night's sleep. All these things 
are the healthy lifestyle that you guys are looking for and are the answer to your problems. Even exercising, there's plenty of studies out there about helping depression. Obviously, it's going to help people lose weight and it's also going to increase longevity. That means your lifespan will increase, hopefully. So at that point, do the right thing for yourself. Exercise, eat properly, get the right amount of sleep. So if you guys are looking for some more help outside of those, Titan Medical Center can help you along with that. Just give them a call or text, 727-389-3220. But make sure you guys are adhering to your goals and try to achieve whatever your mind is going after. Thank you, guys. Initiating a Titan Medical Center production. What's up guys, Titan Medical Center here, representing at the new Metroflex in Brandon, Florida. And of course, they brought the king, Ronnie Coleman, all the way here. And he's sitting on the phone as we speak. We just got here, everything's set up, awesome inside. Our booth looks spectacular. So at that point, we're gonna see what this is all about. Go see the new gym, check out some of the equipment, some of the other vendors, say what's up to everybody. And our community, we love it. So welcome to Metroflex, Brandon, Florida. Tight medical series about to take this bad boy over. Let's, Let's see go. what's up. part of this event and we can't wait for the next Titan Medical Center event and we want you to be there too. If you can't, don't worry, we're going to film it all so you can see it for the final result. Follow us. What's up guys? Another tight medical movie review just for you. Me and my beautiful wife here. Got to go see John Wick 4 for the second time. We seen it opening weekend and it was that good we had to come see it again. So at that point we had to do a review just for you guys because it was that good of a movie. Now John Wick is a great staple in action films. Keanu Reeves, cinematography, everything is on point. Mm -hmm. Through the first one, second one, third one, so you think by the fourth one they'd be running out, right? Yeah, I thought for sure that they, usually around the fourth one is when they start running out of things to make it real cool and likable movie. I mean, for for a movie franchise to even get to a sequel, it has to be really good. Yeah. And then at that point, the sequel's got to perform, which it did, and brought us to the third one. And at that point, this is the fourth one. Now, this is supposed to be the final installment of the franchise. And uh, I know Lionsgate's because, you know, the secret's already out. It's done so well that they want to do a fifth installment I hope they with do. Keanu Reeves. I hope they do. This movie was so good. This was the best John Wick out of all four. And that's my opinion. So, so nothing beats the first one for me. But I would say out of the other ones, probably this one really takes the cake. I yeah. mean, it had everything in it. A lot of action. It was back-to-back -back action. It, it, the whole movie. The whole movie. There was no downtime. Yeah, I mean, it was almost a three-hour movie. So at that point, you're sitting in a chair. But the time got, goes by so quick, because yeah. it's so good, yeah. that you don't even notice. Yep. And um, you know, I mean, all the action, all the killing in it was really, really cool. The new characters in it were really, really cool. You guys will see it, the bad guy. And then, um, you know, with John Wick, it always has to bring it to a whole different level. And the way they film this movie, because yeah. all the John Wicks are awesome the way they film them. But you'll see some of these drone scenes in there that me and Shoes were cool. talking about. Yeah. And these scenes are like niche scenes that you don't see anywhere else. It's kind of like a Matrix-type scene. 
but it's all action and it's from a different angle, a different point of view. I think you guys will really love it. So, uh, John Wick out of five stars, I would definitely give it a 4.9. Wow. All right. Well, we can't let John out. He's got to always outstar me, right? So, <laughs> we're going to go with a 4.8. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you guys stay tuned to more tight medical movie reviews just for you guys. We'll bring you guys awesome action-packed movies, hopefully, or comedies, or dramas, or horror films. Who knows? But if it's a good movie, we're probably going to go see it. And if it's a bad movie, you'll know, because I'll tell you. Hi, everyone. I'm Chenille. I'm one of the nurse practitioners here at Titan Medical Center. I wanted to talk to you today about one of our fantastic weight loss therapies called semaglutide. Some of you may have heard of it called Ozempic as well, or Wegovi. So semaglutide is the main component of that medication. It is a glucagon-like peptide, which works via insulin regulation in the body to help the glucose get used in the cell as a source for energy, which is gonna help aid in fat metabolism. There's also receptors for it in the small bowel that signal your body it's full sooner to suppress the appetite and it also works to delay the gastric emptying process as well, so you feel fuller longer. So it's gonna help overall with the fat metabolism and appetite suppression effects to help you with your weight loss goals. If you're interested in this therapy and you wanna see if it's right for you, give us a call today, 727-389-3220 or visit titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cubist Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my little beautiful wife over here are giving you guys great tips, tricks, and advice to hopefully entice, ignite, and take your relationship to a whole new positive and better level. You know, over the years, we've learned a lot of tricks just by our relationship alone. And then, you know, obviously talking to our friends, observing other relationships out there, we see some of the different issues and problems they might be going through or learn something from them too as well because other people might have some good tips and tricks that we might not know. So it's always good to be open-minded. Right, too. you don't always know everything, even no. though you think you know everything sometimes. Got to learn from somewhere, right? <laughs> or you learn by experience. There's right. only a couple ways to do that. And so, Google can only tell you so much. So. Yeah, I wouldn't be going by Google or chat GPT or anything like that for love <laughs> life. Uh, but it's really up to you. So every week we're going to give you guys this great advice. This week is nothing different. We got some great things to help you guys keep your relationship healthy, vibrant, and strong, mm. right? Because it's one thing, it's, it's hard enough to find, a, you know, a partner out there, especially in today's atmosphere and environment. Of and the word, today's filters. The dating or today's the filters. grinder apps. Or we just had somebody say that to me yesterday. Like, do you know anybody that could at least look like 50% of their filtered photo? Because... <laughs> They showed up to dinner and I had to leave. I was like, whoa, yeah. that's bad. That's the only bad thing about, you know, online dating, right? You know, it could be filter or face tune or body tune until you see me a real person. You're like, who is this? This oh is not gosh. who I was supposed to meet. Where is Jessica? Who are you? You are not Jessica. So, you know, one, I would do like a real FaceTime with somebody to really see who so they are. So actually, actually, believe it or not, they have FaceTime tune thing app now. And they got a FaceTime tune thing. And so you could FaceTime with somebody and it would put the filters on, including the filters to make them look skinnier, cheekbones in, the whole nine. Wow. And well, that's FaceTime. You know, if you do set up a date like that then and you go there after the FaceTime and it's not what you expect, then you could pretty much tell them, hey, listen. I would have the printed photo inside of my purse and pull it out and be like, this is not This you. is false advertising, right? <laughs> but let's say you get past all that. Everybody's exactly how they were supposed to be, right? So you're getting there, you're trying to start this relationship. So that's tough and alone, just a dating thing, mm -hmm. getting past the, are we a couple, are we not a couple? You know, how's this gonna work? Because I'm sure a lot of people out there have this conversation every single day, like, well, what are we? You know, and some guys, they don't wanna put the title on it. Mm -hmm. Some girls don't wanna put the title on it. Mm -hmm. So they just keep, you know, going however it is, right? Yeah. Everything's okay. Being but random. you're gonna wanna eventually find somebody to settle down with, hopefully, right? 
because you know as you go through life you know if you're a young guy of course you you might want to get with as many girls as possible <laughs> but at the end of the day that starts getting old and, and boring we're tiring to a certain extent and then you know you might be 40 or 50 years old you're still single and now you're looking for somebody to settle down with you want children uh, you want to go old with somebody. You want somebody there to be able to wipe your butt when you get older. You want to wipe right? his butt? No. Definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. I'll be able to do it till I die. I'll so. do it. I'll do it. No, I'll not. do it. <laughs> but, you know, once you get past all this hard stages that you're going to go through, right? Meeting somebody, making sure they're going to be good. Then you're going to put the title on it. Then you want to get into the relationship. So the relationship at that point should be going very strong. You know, whether you're in the honeymoon stages of that relationship, you guys are, you know, experiencing new things together with each other, which are creating those bond type environment situation scenarios that are going to help you guys grow stronger. But once you start getting past that, right, then you start getting into your daily routines. And your comfortability mode. And the comfortability mode starts kicking into effect, right? Yeah. Um, then you know you really have to start and you have to keep working with the relationship. You had to start working to get the relationship, but you got to keep working to keep the relationship, mm. especially if you guys want to progress and you guys don't want to start growing apart. That's a job. Or, or things, you know, not going like you want them to be. You know, things can change. People grow apart if they don't spend enough time with each other or if you don't do some of these simple things that we're going to talk about here. So one, first one is like meeting or greeting your significant other when you come home. Right? Yeah. So when you leave, you want to greet her and say, goodbye, honey, I love you, give her a kiss. And then at that point when you get home, like, hey, honey, I'm home, how was your day? Right? Yeah, don't just like walk into the room and be like, hey, I'm home. Give me a and sandwich. Then, get me a sandwich. Where's Hold my beer, dinner? Thank yeah, you. I mean, you probably want to get that far. You're going to go, go and, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll get you a cold beer tonight, don't worry. John doesn't even like beer that much. <laughs> he doesn't really drink. Um, he'll be like, get me a smoothie. Give me a cold water. <laughs> give me a smoothie, berries on top, <laughs> literally. But don't just like walk into the room and like put your stuff down all of a sudden and then you re crack open your laptop. Now, this is very common, right? Yes. I mean, Think about it. Are you like throw your, your throw your shoes off real quick, hop on the bed, or like on your couch or whatever it is, and then scroll on your phone? You didn't even bother to ask, like, "Hey, how was your day? Hey, did you? Are you happy right now? What's going on? Are you, hey, well, what's going? Let's talk." Like, I feel like the talking portion has really just diminished. Yeah. You guys just don't talk. It's yeah. just it's really actually very strange. And I'm like, I'm observing it throughout everybody else's relationships right now. And I'm like, you guys gotta, like, you guys gotta talk. Like, communication's key. We talked about it every episode. It's, and it's not just communication, because communication you gotta have. But like, it's just generally speaking to each other. Like, mm -hmm. asking like, hey, how was your day? You know, and like actually caring to listen, not say, hey, how was your day? And then go scroll on your phone while they're talking to you. Because <laughs> that's, that's, that's not communicating. Definitely. That's a good way to get your phone broken uh, by crazy uh, people uh, like charades. Uh, 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 <laughs> So Just that's kidding. one. Not really. You know, giving the greeting <laughs> before you leave and then when you get home and then asking, hey, how was your day? It's really simple to do. Yeah. And it leads into an open question so they can start expressing themselves or venting to whatever it is that they need to talk to you about. And it, it might be really good. Like, hey, listen, I got a promotion date. Or it might be, I hate my boss. I hate my job. I hate what I'm doing. Right? And then, you know, you got to be that shoulder to kind of like listen to them and then talk with them afterwards. And that might make them feel a lot better about what the situation or scenario was that they had to go through at work, whether it was positive or negative. Mm -hmm. After that, you gotta have a date night, all right? That's so important, it's, guys. It's really important and it gets put to the side a lot. And it then, does. You know, a lot of people think, oh, well, we spent all this time together. So why the hell do I need to go on a date? When you're spending time together, like, yeah, me and Sharice spend a lot of time together at work, I'm but it's not quality time where it's like, we're focused in on a relationship. Yeah. Like, it's not like a love you Like, that's what we're doing. We're, we're having fun together, you know, experiencing something. No, it's not that. We are working, right? And there's some fun that goes along with that. But you're, you're focused in a whole different way. You're focused on what we're doing here at the, at the job. Mm -hmm. How are we going to get these tasks completed? And not how I can benefit my relationship. Yeah. It's just not going through my head when I'm at work. Now, when I get home or off work, then it's a whole different story. Then, you know, I, I feel more in touch and in tune with what's going on in my relationship. Yeah, I have a second to think about it. Right. Like, there'll be times even, because, I mean, listen, I am crazy busy. I, one day I'll, I'll put it out there where you guys can follow me around for a day and see how crazy busy I am. But I just don't have time to think during the day. So sometimes it'll literally be like 9 o'clock at night, and he would have brought something up to me maybe earlier in the day, like, I don't know. It might have been like about an article he read or like, hey, guess what? I was just kind of like, yeah, 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 but didn't really acknowledge it because I was in the middle of doing 100 things. And then I would like acknowledge it like 
seven hours later. I'd be like, hey, that article you wrote up earlier today, like, you know, so what was that about? Like, tell me, tell me, tell me. But I'm like, I'm trying to re-acknowledge like what, what, what took place, you know, have a conversation, talk to him, you know, see what's going on, you know, spend quality time together. The date night is supposed to be quality time. You know, it's supposed to, whether it's a movie, it's dinner, mm -hmm. it could be going for a walk. I mean, for a walk. it could be something simple. You don't have to spend money. Oh. You can literally do anything, right? I mean, it could be anything. Um, Netflix, you know, like, hey, we're going to allocate this two hour window just to watch a a movie on Netflix and not do anything else but just chill and talk and, and don't pass out. <sighs> don't pass out. Yeah, you know, John always passes out. <laughs> uh, I'd be so sitting there watching the movie like, this is a great movie, right, Ben? Yes. Yeah, I like that part too, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> So that's another big one too, right? Thank God we had those dogs. Setting, yeah, setting dogs. the time aside for your relationship to have a date <laughs> night. Because this is important. The other thing to really help you have a healthy and strong relationship is, you know, daily might be too much, but I would think at least weekly or maybe a couple of days out of the week, you're thinking what you really love your partner for, right? Why you really love your partner, finding these positive things and affirmation about them. And hopefully they have these positive things. Because if they don't, yeah. you have a whole bunch of negative things and like one or two positive things, and that might not be the right partner for you too yeah. as well. At least let it weigh. You know, the good has to outweigh. That's the other thing. You know, a little bit. People need to recognize you know, a little bit earlier if they're in a toxic relationship or going to be into a toxic relationship. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of red flags. I think it's Write that down. Red flags. We'll be talking Write about that, that next week. <laughs> Um, but you know, for this, you know, you, you really want to be in tune to, to the person that you're going to be, you know, in this relationship with and find these different things. Cause there's obviously something that draws you to this person where your eyes are pretty. I like the way you look. Uh, I love your personality. You're so funny. I mean, these are really like vague common ones, but these are different things that, you know, might draw you to it. Like, you know, I like the way that you brushed your hair or the way that you looked like that. It could be something it so be, minor. I love the way you cook, right? It, it could be, you know, you clean the house awesome. Dang. I, I love all these things, right? Uh, <laughs> thank God I'm pretty. Clean, cook, <laughs> you know, do some laundry. So you know? glad I'm pretty and I got a good smile. No, Except well, for all that cooking. I mean, the cooking is <laughs> sure. <laughs> We're terrible. We're terrible. Uh, no, I mean, but, but these are different things. Yeah. So, you know, do some of these different things to improve and keep your relationship healthy and strong. Make sure you understand that you have to keep working for that relationship to get better. If not, it's going to be like anything else. If you don't put work into it, you reap what you sow and you might not get anything back or it might be an empty relationship. Mm -hmm. So that's it, guys, for this week's show. Yeah, see it. Tune in every Sunday. For me and my beautiful wife, Sharice, here for Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. If you guys miss it, make sure you can try to DVR it. Or if you miss it completely and you want to go watch it, just go over to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center. And you'll get to see all the great Cupid's Corners and all the other cool content that we got from Titan Medical Center. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Go do. And if you want to improve your uh, bedroom life, make sure you hit us up. We got therapies for that, too. 727-389-3220. Text or call us and say, John and Sharice recommended me to get the better performance in the bedroom. Plug. Later, guys. <laughs> Bye.